all right everyone this is my new build or slash old build but i shifted everything into the o11 vision compact case uh, just because i had white fans and pretty much everything was white the only thing i'm lacking is the gpu and the motherboard but the thing is i don't have that much money to do that and a lot of people had questions on reddit how did I mount this upside down and how the logo went upside down? I just took a plastic piece and popped that logo off. It's basically stuck with the adhesive. So the adhesive will pop off with the logo. You just gotta make sure you pry it right and then stick it on there 180 degrees and you'll be fine. I'll take the panels off and show you guys. And second question people had how the tubes are routed. So I'll show you that in a second too. Let's go remove the panels and show you guys how this AIO is actually mounted. Pop this off and see, this is basically upside down VRM fed and the logo is 180 degrees. A lot of people are like, oh, well, this is not cooling your VRMs. Um, my answer to that at least is cooling something, whether it be my SSD or RAM. Um, so yeah, a lot of VAOs, they don't even come with VRM fans. It is what it is, it's cooling something, so it's working. But with these tubes being upside down, there's zero performance loss with this AIO mounted like that. I did my testing, I ran this thing on OC, it performed the same. So if you look at these, the tubes are coming in here, from there, they go Okay, we can just remove this part. So they go in this little channel right here. So they look going like this. The only thing you want to make sure when you're doing this, that your AIO tubes doesn't have too much kink in it. Otherwise the fluid won't, won't really move at all. Um, I saw this other build where someone really, really fucked it up. And uh, yeah, they kinked the hoses and everyone is like, what are you doing? You are not going to get any fluid in your on your uh, CPU block or, you know, the pump. And uh, man, I was a mess. If I can find a photo, I'll put it up there. But yeah, uh, so this is the way they're routed. The fans are on the other side. And no, I didn't use any additional screws. All the screws are basically the same screws that come with the LF3. Um, so yeah, that worked out perfectly fine. That was my uh, setup for the AIO. Hope you guys like it. And yeah, stay tuned for new videos. All right guys, see ya.